Hello? Alright. First, let me uh, try and check if the replays are already out. Because I don't think they are. Yeah, I don't think they are. So today I'm just gonna watch some... Um, I'm just gonna be watching some of the guys, the games that are in the mainstream that I didn't watch. And I didn't watch like most of the games that happened there. Actually, I pretty much watched none of the series, so we have a lot of series that I can watch. So, matches that are interesting and that I didn't watch yet, Dark vs. Oh, never mind, Bunny Lost Special. I mean, I guess I can watch this one, Dark vs. Special. Um, Har Harsmar really told me what happened in these, so I don't really need to watch them. Analyze new Micah games. Yeah, I mean, we, we can watch them, they shouldn't be too long anyways. Here I could watch the ZVZ and these two series. Here I can watch our Laser 1-1 one, one game maybe. Okay, let's see in the bracket, I can watch the Laser games. The Z, all three ZVZs. I can watch actually, and then these two, basically just these games. One, two, three, four, five, six series. All the other series is very lost. This one I watched live, mostly. I'm oh, kind of interested in seeing this, watching this series as well. So I see how DRG won two games. Solar vs. Rainer, I know what happened. Like, I'm not, not gonna watch those. I need... Basically, I prefer games that I didn't watch and then where I didn't know what happened and then games where Zerg is winning. Don't watch Elaze vs. Dark, watch this time. All of Elaze vs. CVZ were dumb, I'm pretty sure. I I watched Rainer versus Maru, yes. Pretty sure I watched it when I was hanging over. Yeah. I watched it at the pool. Uh at the pool with my girlfriend, she fell asleep. That's how boring the series was. <laughs> Maru just sitting there. And then, I mean, honestly, I can still rewatch it to see what what I'm supposed to do. Because Rainer asked me what he was supposed to do, and I honestly couldn't tell him. Dark just does random shit. I'm assuming against Maru, and they didn't actually play late games. But once you're at the late game, I'm not sure. I'll have to check uh, how these maps work. It might not be bad to watch those, even though Rainer lost, because he, um, because these maps are new, so I know. If there are expansions that you can take fast away from Terran, that kind of stuff. What do you think was the fall from Rainer in the late games? I'm not sure. I need to uh, rewatch that. I was hangover as fuck. Watching it on a tablet. Latin run by okay. Let's start with the playoff games because they're gonna be the easiest. The one that I'm most interested in is Dark versus Hero. I will probably get very angry at this one because I I don't I don't think I think if Hero just played his normal shit every game, I don't think Dyke would have had a chance. I saw Dyke practice against Protoss getting owned every game, so I have no idea how Hero lost. Uh where is it? Yes, uh let's see too. But Hero also against me beat me easily in the two uh, standard games he played, and then for some reason he played 
really fucking dumb strategies the other two games, so it should have been 2-2. My series against him as well. So I don't know why he feels like he, ha he has to mix it up, but he really just doesn't. Um, yeah, I don't know what that is with Protoss players sometimes. They, sometimes it really feels like they just don't want to win. Okay, let's check it out. Wait, let me put you guys on the second screen. Can you guys see me? Where's my cam? Let me put it here. Alright, this seems fine, right? Oh, they're on YouTube already? Wait, I'm gonna go on YouTube then, because I prefer that over the Twitch. Hero versus Dark... Email balance, yeah. Let's do that then, that seems easier. You guys can see it now, right? Yeah. Alright, so Dark went forward, expand first. One thing you can do here on this map, if you're feeling fancy and you get blocked, is you can take this base. I'm gonna show it on this side. You're gonna take this base, and you take this as a fourth, and you stay relatively low drone count, and they usually attack into you. Especially if they don't take this as a third base. If they take this as a third base, they have a very fast warp in close to you and they just can't try to kill it. But if they expand like this and you take gold base, it's something that I prepared. Thank you much, Esper, for the 22 months. Nice qualification yesterday. Thank you. Yeah, yesterday were the first games I played in a week. I basically was just drinking for a week and then I signed up for the qualifier. Last second, I didn't really want to play it, but then I was like, because Rainer said he was sick, so I was like, okay. I don't want too many packs to qualify from the first qualifier, so I'll sign up. Okay, he's going standard this game so far. Thank you, Professional Adapter, for the 26 months. Appreciate it. Welcome back. Adapt stock or Oracle. He actually stayed here with Oracle. Against me, always went, went across. I figured this out too late. I had a couple of adjustments that I would have made for the last map, but I didn't get to play it. It's really sad that I lost the game on Tropical against him. That one should have been a win. Because I could have adjusted to his playstyle, because he played more passive than I thought he would, and then he just made more Oracles, so I would have I would have played Ling Bain Hydra in the last game. Or, or a straight Ling Muda. One of the two. Um, so I'm sad I didn't get the chance to try that, because I think that should be good against this style. Whereas the standard isn't too much. A phoenix? Why is he making a phoenix? Like, al already, why is he... I, I guess he's doing it because there's two overlords on his side, okay? He goes in here too. This is very good for a hero. He didn't do anything yet with the oracles. So he's, ex he's expecting some links to flood towards the side. Still not entirely sure why he made a phoenix. Okay, Dark going plus one melee. This is... We expect he also goes plus one melee bangness. I wonder if he, actually, if he can actually hold the blink all in. He, here has one blink all in. It hits pretty hard. I wonder if he can defend that with Ling Bane. Yeah, so hero plays way more passive than anybody I practice against. I practiced with some Protoss players, I told them to play the hero style, and I did pretty well in practice. But I overmade units, whereas against him I could have drawn up way further. Um, which I didn't realize. So Dark is doing what I, wanted, like what I wanted to do. Dark obviously had the advantage that he saw hero style from my game against him. So he came up with the same solution that I came up with. Like, this was what I wanted to do on the fly. So here is actually the one that takes the gold base. I don't think this is really good. Because I think you just die to Hydra Bane, but we'll see. Oh, 
Why is he making icons? He plays so different from usual uh, from uh, usual style. No, no creep denial. Much, much more passive. I think the th the sentries are good against bailing run buys, but they shouldn't be on the map. Just gave it away an icon there, and now he's dead. Like I don't really understand what's going on. Why why he's playing so differently from usual? Because I never see him lose with his normal style. He has insane upgrades, though. Dark is doing exactly what I wanted to do in the last game. It's well played by him there. There's not much to say. You, I, I, I think taking gold base is retired of this Protoss. Like, I think it's just bad. Unless you have an insane early game. Like, if you, get, if you kill like 10 plus Jones, probably you can do it. It is. What is this probe doing? What the hell? It's scouting for proxy edge, but like. You cannot spank or rush on a map with the ramp. Doesn't really work. Why is he going Phoenix? So his adjustment is to go Phoenix because Dark has two overlords on uh, on his side of the map. Charge out three Stargate units. Charge out three Stargate units without a Robo. There's no proxy gate either. He keeps making Oracles. Like, this is the dumbest attack I've seen in my life. Like, why do they do this? I don't understand. Oh my god, I wanna already not watch the rest anymore. This is so triggering for me to watch. He's warping in eight zealots at a time of a slow pylon warping with continued oracle production. This has this entire thing has no synergy, it makes no sense. Oh my god, bro. Why the <laughs> That's the best map for a style as well. Do you feel Dark is a really fast player? Dark is fast for sure. Not a the the only really fast player I think is Rainer. Rainer and Clem are the fastest players there. Are. But for sure he's fast, yeah. I think all the top zergs are fast. Whereas me, he blocked every game, and then when he blocked, he just ran into my third base, and even though there were two queens there, he would kill two drones. Yeah, I'm not sure what I... I will actually rewatch that, because I want to know what I should... How, sh how I should have moved my queens there. 
Four drones is not not great already. Especially if you play E with Evo Chamber and plus one melee. It's quite expensive. You know why Sarah wasn't playing? No, I don't. Yeah, now this now now he's playing his normal early game. Never mind, he's doing the other one, isn't he? What the fuck, man? He didn't cancel. So this is the only thing that I was afraid of if I went Ling Min Hydra as this attack. But the more committed one. I think this one you should be fine against. Blink everything at once. The... The setup wasn't great at Valencia, so people would just play worse on average, probably. The average ping was like 50 or so. I wonder, I don't think Morphing Bailing series is good. So he played his normal style once, he lost the third nexus, but still won pretty easily. Let's see now. No, it didn't go pretty bad from... I mean, to be honest, if you go plus one melee and you lose ten workers, I think the game's over. So I wouldn't say it went bad for him at all. Just, he lost his nexus without a cancel, that was dumb. You, you legit, you cannot lose ten rounds against this guy. I think you're supposed to die, always. This is what he always did against me. Did he misclick here or how did he not get it? He misclicked. Oh my god, there's three low HP drones. I was like, how? Because he did that every time against me, and I'm like, what the fuck? I'm just losing two drones every time right away. He misclicked twice there. Three drones with one HP. Now he's playing his normal style again. Like he's doing the nightest that should never work. There's a funny side story. The I did a nightest on Moon Dance, and not a single Protoss saw it before it popped. In practice, I I did it like six times. It were it won every game. In that game, I already, I already was quite far behind against the Oracles alone, but... Uh, still, he saw the Nidus and it went up. It didn't go up. Because of it. So yeah, now Dark is dead, because he did his shitty... I was hoping for a little bit more uh, of the series. Let's see the last one. I thought, I thought of not vetoing this against Hero, and vetoing inside and out instead. Because on this map, at least you cannot die. So if he doesn't adjust, if he doesn't adjust, uh, it, it's not that bad of a map, but like, on this map, Protoss can go one gate, one gate, star gate, three nexus before four minutes, and then just make Phoenix. And then take a forward base at like six minutes. Like, it's actually crazy, but Protoss can do whatever they want on this map. It's an insane map for Protoss. It's just that... I think Hero is quite smart, so I did not want to not veto it, because I figured he will realize what's good on it. But clearly he didn't.
I went core first. Core first plus block. I don't think this is really worth it, but I think he did he did it because uh Dark went for, for only two links. It's a free next map for Protoss, you could you could say that. I think that's I think that's fair to say, yeah. Thanks for the reset, Ravi. Isn't this a turn? This is a turn. Yeah, this this map is bad for Zerg in both matchups, which is rare. Usually, a map that is good for Terran against Zerg is at least good for Zerg against Protoss, but this map is bad against both races. So it's quite rough. This map fucks us in the map pool. Because they counted this towards a long map as well, so they still have three short maps that are bad for Zerg, and then they also have this. He's quite good with the oracles. Trying to maximize damage always. But the guy don't get it. He I don't know why he's not. If anything, I, I would think, okay, this is a nice wall, I guess, but he should still take this. Like right now. This is what you can do on this map. You can take like a fourth base at five minutes if you want. As Zerg still won the Dreamhack on those maps. Yeah, I, I knew this was gonna happen. I mean, Dark guy, honestly, he should have never beaten Hero. I think Hero is quite a bit better than him in that matchup. He uh, gambled a lot with the builds that he's playing. I can tell you right now, because I'm watching. So he gambled quite a bit, and Hero played two retired builds in the first two games. So he gave him two... Yeah, he gave him two wins. Like if he just if he if Hero just plays three games, he does his uh, normal blink style, the normal blink style that he's been doing for the last two games, right? And then one game he does the blink all in or two games. Like Dark would lose five zero. I'm almost certain. Yeah, I think you I think you would be Dark on Stargazers, probably. Although I don't think you are abused. I didn't see your game against Solar, so I'm not sure if you abused your max. I think the abuser max is the Phoenix build. Phoenix build, 3 minute third, something like that. That's a maximum abuse. Two stag I think one Stargate is better. You make them right away, no Oracle. Okay, and the two forge, yeah, okay, it's, it's nice. I'm not sure what uh, this Templar Archives is for that he always makes. I don't know. Like he makes one icon with it, surely that's not... What the fuck is that blink? He's winning at this point, I'm almost certain. So right now he can sing it out like Hydras that are sitting here. Instead he jumps in, so all the Hydras can shoot, and his stalkers are still blocked behind. That was a crazy blink. Did he lose all of his oracles? Bro. Where are the oracles? He lost all of them, I suppose. <laughs> He's taking the gold base. <laughs> And now because he didn't take this base, the knight is gonna go up. You should just have a base here. 
I like the multi robos. Should be more than two even, I think. I can't believe he has a free base that is unrun byable. You cannot run by it. And it's protected from... Yeah, I don't get it. And now he's running through here, like what, like... These are move commanded. These zealots run through this choke. He's coming in single file here. Like this is some... Uh, some legendary play. He lost detection. <laughs> Like, you guys understand that you guys are complaining about us Zerg winning a tournament because of a series like this. This is, this is what triggers me so much. This is his best map. This is the best map for the style he's playing. Like, the aggressive blink stalker shit. All the bases are far apart. Um, but still, you, you, you cannot really die. And then... He does a... 9 gate charge lot, slow pylon warp in, mass oracle lot in. I, I, you just cannot make this shit up, honestly. It's crazy. Like I, li I like the adjustment from uh, from Direct to go Ling Bane Hydra against the style that he showed against me. But then Hero adjusted to that with playing more aggressive again, the way the other people are doing it. And if that's what happened, I'm pretty sure Hero would have just won the series. But this game he just threw that way. Like the first one is excusable because... But to be honest, I don't think... I think against Dravage Bane you also cannot hold this gold base, so... Not really sure what he was trying to counter there, but... Like, the, the, this, this game is understandable. The other ones are... The last game and the second game are just straight up... Straight up griefing. I cannot blame pro players to use Lurker, but this unit is too powerful. Is that a series or is that a troll? I want a Dar Dardma, I want a... Can everybody add Dardma right now? Because I, I can't tell. Sometimes I can't tell if some people are serious or trolls. I want to see if he's still here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was your previous statement a serious statement? I cannot blame pro players for using the Lurker, but this unit is too powerful. I, because sometimes I just can't tell if people are trolls or... Or actually just don't know what's happening. So I gotta double check. So I don't uh, make fun of people for trolling, because trolling is allowed. You should assume everyone is a troll. You guys give everybody the benefit of the doubt, you're too nice. You guys are too nice. What? 
Did he just lose the Reaper? So he's serious. Do you even see lurkers being made very often? Do you think programmers would make lurkers every game if they were actually good? Like, do you guys even think about that? Or do you see 20 zealots run into 10 lurkers and then are like, man, this unit is really too strong. This unit that requires two hive upgrades against a tier 1 Protoss unit really rips it apart there. Looking way too strong over here. Maru's sleeping. Okay, double upgrades. He's doing double upgrades against 2 and 1. 2 and 1 has one uh, decent tank push where you're not gonna have bailing speed against. 1-1 one, one against 1-1, one, one. so if you don't take the fight before um, their 1-1 one, one is done, usually you trade a little bit poorly. He's making blind spores. He saw the extra Rex, no? Okay, whatever. Like, people whining about lurkers in PvZ are honestly the dumbest... It's the dumbest thing to whine about, out of anything. Like, I think whining about the Hydra is smarter than whining about the fucking lurker. The lurker is, like, not even good. What the fuck? Okay, so he just won one mess zerglings on 60 workers. And he got lucky that Maru was not still here. Instead, uh, was uh, out here in the line, so the Zerglings get good surface area. And the aliens get caught, fantastic. So Dark basically just messed units. I think what Dark did is pretty smart on this map, because this map is pretty rough against Terran, so... Just going for uh, some off timing and hoping to catch a turn off guard is pretty good, so that's well done by Dark. At this point, Mar was pretty dead, but I lose games like this against Clem all the time, so. But maybe not like this, you can just aim with, yeah. <laughs> Usually, when I'm ahead like this, I also try this aim move, but then there's three Widow Mines and I lose everything. He also has 2-2 two, two against 1-1. One, one. GG. So knowing that Dark is spreading creep with one control group and not even defending it? I have no idea. I, I will, yeah, I didn't watch the series. I was already drinking at this point. Who's the GOAT? No one cares. The only thing that's important is that I'm the GOAT coach. Back to back world champion coach. No one else has done that. Think about it.
another I like how Maru is not playing the these weird a lot of Koreans are playing low tier builds. Maru plays very high tier builds. This guy is actually smart. He usually plays 3C Viking, 3C211, Proxy Rex. Yeah, those are um, no those are his main mains. And Benchy also plays 2 CC and 3 CC. That was a crazy dive with three aliens. Maru played worse and versus Rainer. Bro, I am watching the second game right now. I didn't watch the finals, as I already said multiple times, so I can't tell you. <laughs> I, I, uh, you guys have to wait a little bit. Okay, he's played straight mines here. This is uh, the best Zerg map in this map pool. He lost again against a 1 1 Lingram by. Oh my god, bro. What the fuck? So you. I have explained Sol this many times that he can't just leave with everything every single game. And you need to sometimes keep the Hellions at home. Because as a Zerg you can defend the two Medivex with Queens only. You can send forward a ton of units. <sighs> if this does nothing, Dark is in a really, really, really bad spot. You guys have to understand this. That what Dark is doing is committed. And it's banking on the fact that this depot is open and the Hellions are not in position. It's everything he's banking on. And exactly that happened. Not only that, but Maru just lifted all of his units. And the Hellions are here. You can see them running back here now. So, this is, it's, it's not that easy. You can't just say, oh, you should have just done this and that. That's really, really stupid to say. Like, in hindsight, oh, he lost against this and he didn't do any other series, so should have just made mass zerglings at 60 drones. But, uh, yeah. In this case, obviously, the game is over again. So, for example, one of the adjustments Maru could make is play safer with the Hellions, go 8 Hellions. If you have 8 Hellions, this is just not possible to begin with. It's a nice timing with 1-1, one, one. yeah, but this has been done for years already, there's nothing new. I've seen Ratata win games like this against Clem on Light Shade. <laughs> And we've done it way before Light Shade was in the map pool too. Like just messing links and then using them all to counterattack with 1-1 one, one links is the oldest trick in the book. Okay, let's see. Gas pool on Nightshade. Oh, not Nightshade, uh, Moondance. It's even shorter than Nightshade. He went back without Zerglings attacking him? That's so weird. You should go into the main base, no? If there are no Zerglings. You need to confirm that there are Zerglings, at least. Very odd. I find this a very odd choice to just go back with the... With the SE. You know what you could do? As a 300 IQ play, you could play Hatch. Hatch, Hatch. 3 Hatch before pull Gasless against Mario on this map. With the first touch being here, because he just goes back with the SV, he doesn't check. And the Reaper stays at home, and he makes Marines and a Bunker. So if you play 3H before pull against this, you have a complete free win. Complete free win, actually. So if you guys play Maru in the next GSL Grand Finals, then here you have one free win. Okay, this is a good night. This. Well, is it a good night as well? I guess there is space to the left of the main base. He's playing two base Mura. 
He's playing 2 as Mira and Maru's making tanks. For anti nida safety. Very lady base. So the best the best builds against this are fast extra barracks, fast E base, three CC. Those are the this is basically the counter to two base mira. Oh I guess no turret there. He has no turret anyway. He <laughs> lost 13 workers, oh my god bro. I wonder if she was tilted at this point. I would be. I, if I'm in a series like this, I'm not recovering from that. I'm like, holy shit, this guy is a moron, and then I would just lose even harder. Two base Mira on the shortest map in the map pool. He did so much damage, and he's not even winning by that much, because two base Mira is just fucking awful. That's actually pretty funny. It's mainly because the upgrade sucks so much, so you gotta factor in that you still have to start 2-2 and that you're behind upgrades. Maru also forgot 2-2. Why is he making tanks still? Very weird. <laughs> So, Dark, I'm pretty sure, was just hoping for Maru to, to attack into him, so he's staying on a very low drone count. This is why he's fighting so much off creep. It's because he had dead damage, and now he's trying to have an overwhelming army. That's why he's fighting off creep. And that's why the fights went pretty well for him so far. Because he's just banking on his opponent moving out, basically. But now that Maru realized that, he's just trying to posture off creep. And the fights are going to become better and better for him. <laughs> That's some weird Mario doesn't build any mines against Stark is because like no tank pushes are decent against two base Mira. And with decent I mean they're actually really really strong against two base Mira. It's just that once it, it completely failed, you should switch to mines. And he's also doing that now. He just I feel like made one or two tanks too many. But starting with tanks doesn't really mean anything or it doesn't really have anything to do with the roaches. Yes, he's gonna have 3 3 against one carapace upgrade, that's pretty bad. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, the upgrades are pretty big. How does he have that much, that many mirrors for 6 cast? It's because he didn't need to make Bailing since he did so much damage. If you don't have to build Bailing 6 cast, obviously you can make a lot of mirrors. Oh, you should. Uh, there was a technical break or what? Technical difficulty? Why do you put his Evo Chambers on his fourth location? Because it doesn't mess up the out of laziness and because it doesn't mess up the mining so if you have 16 and 6 on each base the ones where it won't mess up the perfect saturation will be on the fourth base but realistically it's just because yeah it's also the fastest where his camera was right now and it was lazy probably
like he basically defensively wouldn't anyways that game dark so it's not like he was planning on ever letting his bone get to a fourth base but you should definitely never make them there viking into bc through cc also decent boot I'm surprised he's not trying uh, some blue flame stuff because Dark is playing double upgrades every game. Oh, he's playing mech now, okay. So this is supposed to be good against double upgrades. Um, double melee upgrades. That's not good for Mario. Because all the queens are here. If he went to the main base, it would be much better. Missed an active tumor there, and he can risk spread there right away, so that scan was not great. Very early tanks, very late armories. So he's playing it very safe. Dark's gonna swarm most. As a viewer, I like that it's on new maps. I'm pretty sure everybody liked the fact that it's on new maps. Just the maps are. Terran favorite. <laughs> These maps for best of three are honestly quite a joke. But you didn't like the maps themselves, but you didn't like the fact that it's all new maps, no? Two tanks. It's, it's not that bad to lose two tanks uh, for a wave. Especially for the early waves. Because it's a million SCVs. And in order to trade effectively with this style, with the Swarmos style, you need to be low drone count. This is a weakness of it. If you have high drone count, the Swarmos won't do anything and you're just going to get overrun. <laughs> He completely skipped the Corruptors, which is crazy. Ooh, that was good. Especially because he, he got the building CC as well. If that one was done and he could have just lifted it, that would have been pretty bad. I mean, I, like we have one, we had one uh, with this tournament since the new map pool. I I really don't think Zurich should have won this one. It's just Zurich did win this one, so people keep whining. But if you look at the games themselves, you're like, that's just looking balanced. Like if you're being honest, the guy just we're just gambling with sixty drone Lingolins and uh, Hydra Bane, hoping the process has an all in. I mean, to, to be honest, like, Hero just, if he didn't play that dumb fucking charge at all, then he would have won. I'm quite convinced. Yeah, the attack at the first base was pretty good. Uh, honestly, Mario was defending pretty good as well. Especially the early waves are pretty hard to defend, and he almost played perfectly there. 
It doesn't actually look hard, but no one else can do it, so it must be hard. Mm -hmm. You again got the planetary and the fresh base building. If you lose this much and you just get planetary, it's never worth it, but if you get it both, it's very good for you. He's making an orbital now, which is the correct call, because you cannot lose that. I wonder why he's build sometimes building hell, but sometimes he's building hellions from the factory. So it looks the entire game like Mario was dying. I don't. I don't actually know the result of this one. As I said, I didn't. I know the result of the grand finance overall, but I'm not sure who actually ends up winning this game. But it looks like the dark is winning. It just sometimes sometimes Mario wins these games. I'm surprised it didn't continue Battlecruiser production because you force Corruptors at some point and it makes this a lot weaker because of the supply that the Corruptors take I think if you have like 4 BCs, 5 BCs you start Yamatoing something every single time The micro with the locust targeting tanks and taking advantage of splashing as a sick. Yeah, but every Zerg does that. Let's not. I'm all down for giving Zergs credit, but <laughs> pretty sure every low grandmaster Zerg already does that. Jump, jump. Who wins this game, right? Does it not? He should unclog those. In these scenarios, always cancel your upgrades, guys. The these upgrades are super expensive, and once the once it starts becoming low supply, it doesn't matter that much anyways. So it's better to have a couple more units reinforcing. Is there a way to stop Locus from landing when they spawn? Yes. You just make a box over them and then instantly move command. As they're in the air. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, Maru is still dead this game. Dark didn't even mine out anything fast, so he has money forever. And Maru's arm is almost only hell, but... Do Thor's on regular mode take care of Locus in the air? To some extent, I guess. This army looks so small, but somehow Dark can't just aim with it. Well. I 
I really think you should have remade at least the BC that he lost. It makes such a big difference in these games. Like, three BCs are pretty good also at dealing with the Swarmos. Well, the Swarmos, they bunch up right before they land, at the very least, but yeah. So he didn't quite get that to the Thor Ghost army that I would like to see. Let's see, this one inside and out, so now we're back to Terra map. I think all the Zerg... no, there is one more uh, decent map for Zerg after this, so theoretically now Dyke should have it. But I know he must have lost that Zerg map because... It ended up being Stargaze used to his either. Oh, I'm so tired, I'm sorry guys. Mm. He's gonna have three gas Groucho in. Shouldn't that be on two gas with how little drones he has? This is the prey he doesn't have Banshee bit. And it is a Raven, so that's good for him. Why do you unborrow that? What the Okay, he is not making a Banshee. It's a short burst, so the bench is not going to be out, but the medivacs with the marines are pretty good by themselves. The tank, making the tank is overkill. Like, let's... <laughs> did he have, dude, does he have three tech labs? Did he make a third tech lab? To make a bench, a tank and two. That's pretty nuts. Yeah, I don't, I don't mind the die gambling on on this map. It's fine. Like th this map is pretty hard. Though. Could have just decided to win though if we just went for a sixty drone, one one ling all in again. Yeah, he made three tech laps actually. It's pretty crazy. What specifically makes the new maps difficult for Zerg? Is it the rush distance? Yeah, there is three maps with a shorter rush distance than the shortest map in the last map pools. So that makes it very difficult. In general, short rush distances favor the Terran race. The only map with a short rush distance, rush distance that actually doesn't have a shit layout for Zerg as well is Moondance. But even on Moondance, they're very abusable spots. I just don't want to tell you right now. so Because there are Terrans that did not figure it out yet. But most of those maps are bad for, like, if you have a short map, at least you need to have a good layout. So, like, it needs to be an open map where you don't have many tank spots where there's, you know, where the Terran King. Great trades on top of arriving earlier. But this, these maps did not do a good job with that. I'm not sure who picked them, but... Usually you want to make, like, large maps where it's a little bit, they're, they're choked up, you give them some tank spots, so the large maps starting to have some chance, and then in the short maps you want to give Stirk some chance with making it a little bit more open and stuff. More uh, counter-attack pass, something like that. Is it true, by the way, that Dark didn't play the new maps till he was already in and How would I know that? 
Pretty sure most Koreans did not play the new maps too much. Are you in a bad mood today? No, I'm not. Who told you that your, yourself? Just like you told the Chinese admin that I'm angry. Oh no, I'm not in a bad mood, I just think that's bullshit. But I'm not talking about the downstream. Yeah, there's one thing that I'm very annoyed uh, about. But uh, my mood today is decent. I was surrounded by people in Valencia that all had COVID and now I, I took two tests and they're both negative, so I don't know. I'm playing, I'm not playing CS till the night. Okay, so he just lost this one. Let's see this map. Like, Wikipedia has a new layout. You think that's what I was annoyed, <laughs> annoyed about? It is not. I heard you in a mediocre mood today. You guys are getting some weird, uh... Like, it's really weird to say stuff like that. Mm. Using the same building on. I don't understand how you can let your mind shoot the larva, honestly, it's... that's... insane. Simply because Rotti's chat told him to make Hydras. Most certainly that, that is it. Is two base something? My dog's barking. One moment, I'll be back. So Dark actually took the other third base from the one we usually take. This third base is harder to defend against this two base alone. The other, so the third he should he took should have been better. I guess it's still a decent tank spot. He definitely should not have started two two for sure. But I don't think he could even spend the money because he's on three hatcheries. I'll never mind. He already has a macro hatch. Of course, it's Dark. He still can't spend his money because he he's not good at injecting.
I don't know, eh. This was not close. Look at him, now he knows he lost because of the Stargazers. But little does he know, Maru goes Proxyrex on the only map that is bad for Proxyrex. Because you can just go and take this base. And the best part is Dark was planning on going gasless 3 hatchery, so he started mining before he scouted it. Oh my god, I fucking... This This is why Zerg won this tournament, because Myro decided to go proxy on the one map where it's not good. It's like the best the best build in StarCraft, but it's just not good on this specific map. It's like legit, there's this one single map where proxy is shit and he does it. Yeah, he could have played this ghost mech. He could have even just camped with bio. This this map is insane for camping with anything. Maybe he just wanted to go to bed. Watch, watching as he do burns brains. Why don't we see the scouting bags more often? Because it's not really necessary. Most bits are safe by default. Uh, especially if the Zerg pull drones, that means they cannot have a Roach follow-up. Like, it's just not possible. You do not have the money and the gas. So, you like, scouting with the Proxyrex, I don't actually think is good. I think it's better to just get the double, uh, double, uh, double add-ons at home. Uh, it's just, in this case, you, you can scout with the Proxyrex is good because he sacked the base. So you want to know what's up. Like, is it a one base Nidus? Is it one base Roach? Is it, you know... Obviously on this map it's always a pocket base, but... Uh, in this one scenario where the Zerg doesn't put drones, it's okay to scout with the barracks. Look at this move. It's unbelievable what I'm watching. He shoots the Viking once, then he shoots it twice, and then he lifts it in range of the Queens. Man, I'm fucking losing my mind. The Viking- oh my god, bro, I actually fucking- Meanwhile, there's an Ovalor still on his side of the map. Fucking crazy. Also, he's two base on ending after a bad early game. Instead of just playing 3cc and camping. Ah uh, man, this is actually, this is, uh, I'm just gonna not watch this, the rest of this. I, re I don't think Dark uh, should have won against either Hero or Maru, but he did, so congrats to Dark. Playing Rainer tired Maru out too much to think against her. <laughs> I mean, Maru played not uh, stupid, besides, I think, what he did on Stargazers, but he just got a little unlucky. And with unlucky, I mean out of position for the 1 1 Lingo Lens. Twice. I think losing on Data C the way he did was fine. I don't think he played too bad. But yeah, the, the first two games were just given away. Like the move out timing that was slightly unlucky. Thank you very much. Got Sauron for the 24 months. Appreciate it. Finally got the cool badge. True. Rip to your phone. You look funny with headphones on. Hydra's with Hero and the style there for Hydra's one Valencia. It's Hydra, man. True. Right, I lost my phone. Should I put a donation goal for that? On my stream? It was a pretty new phone as well, which is pretty sad. I'm, I I bought the exact same phone again. I bought the exact same phone again. 
how you lose your phone, it got stolen when I was on the street. Like, I I know it got stolen because I I checked on Google Maps where to find cabs. Then we walked there. Like, we were on the beach. It was like 4 a.m. We were pretty drunk. And then when I wanted to enter the cab, because I check whenever I leave and whenever I enter something, I always check if I have my phone still. So, like, in, in a matter of five minutes, I didn't have my phone anymore. And when I tried to call it, it was already turned off, so I couldn't, I couldn't reach it. So just someone uh, pickpocketed me. I'm not getting a fucking iPhone. I I need I mainly use my phone for WhatsApp and making pictures and Instagram. Like that's all I need. I don't need to spend five times the money that I do now. Now your dick pics are in the hand of a stranger. I don't think he can... I don't think he uh, cares that much about my dick pics. iPhone camera is OP. I'm not paying 500 bucks extra for a be slightly better camera. Like, it's just not happening. Like, I, I, I don't even like the... Because my girlfriend has iPhone and the iPad, I don't even like navigating that. I would need to get used to it, so, like, yeah, I just... It was at the beach. It was not at the tournament. So yeah, that really sucked because... I mean, I had a bunch of stuff there that I will never get back, like pictures. I also wrote down all my bets with other people. And what people owe me, and I don't have that now. Like, Hiresim owed me so much. <laughs> so many drinks. I also am being owed like five kebabs at least. Like Harrison Malone owed me like 150 bucks worth of drinks. Uh, I'm being owed like five kebabs and a shit ton of beers by other people. So I, I, I don't have proof now of any of that. And I quite frankly also don't remember. But yeah. Harrison paid someone to steal my phone. That's smart, actually. Yeah, I think my Samsung Cloud is full, probably. I can check. I mean, the picture is not that bad because I I uploaded uh, I uploaded them to a little while ago, so it's not that bad. Is Link Bane bad against 6 k Glaives? Yes. It's a weird dollar loss. Yeah, I mean, I'm not getting it. iPhone is just too expensive for me. I, I would be scared to run around with a phone that's expensive. So then I would need to get a Apple Care Plus or whatever, or whatever it's called, and then... Do you watch Formula 1? Yeah, but don't spoil me about the sprint race. I like to watch it afterwards. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not getting it. I'm just not getting it. I don't even see any advantages of it. But I don't mind you guys having iPhones. It's just I personally do not like them. So I'm not, not considering it. I usually try to go for value. I think... The the higher the price goes, the lower the extra value you get from them anyways. What phone formula were you using before I had a Samsung Galaxy A52? Something after that as well. So now I just have a A53 I ordered. It's gonna come on Tuesday. Yeah, I think phones between 300 and 600 euros. If you go above the 600 euros, I also agree with that. I, I think it starts going not great. Yeah, OnePlus, OnePlus I considered 
that that Samsung or maybe some of the Chinese phones, but I just went with the Samsung again. Um, let's call it for the analyzing part of the stream today. I'm gonna do more once the replays are out. Let's play some games. Yeah, some of the yeah the Chinese brands have very good phones for the very low price. What if you were to play versus a six point six k barcode that Vito the Berlin guy curious man right now? I would tell you to fuck off. You can snipe me in PvP if you want. You're gonna lose... You're gonna lose 50 MMR. <laughs> Thing against Strange. More minerals required. Mineral quantity insufficient. Not enough minerals. You can tell me the bit and I can do it, if it's good. But if it's sentry into Phoenix, I'm not I'm not interested. Like that build is just not good, I'm not sure what you have with it. Your obsession. There's I play against these guys playing that build all the time. Mineral quantity insufficient. Not enough minerals. More minerals required. Mineral quantity insufficient. Enemy assaulting probes. More minerals required. About a thing. Probes under attack. I actually didn't look what it was. That's really bad, baby. I forgot. Cannot or not enough minerals. Mineral quantity insufficient. Not enough energy. Insufficient energy. Engaging the enemy. That is really bad. Holy shit. Not enough minerals. Now we're gambling. Additional pylons required. I thought I made a third sentry actually. Not enough energy. Research completed. No, 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 no. Uh, 
I lost. I cancelled the unit, and I thought I made it right after again, but I didn't. <clears throat> good warm up. Good warm up. Let's go again. I mean, I one I didn't look at my probe, so I didn't know it was two stalkers, and then two I cancelled a unit by accident. About a thing. I think Oracle is great, but I don't know how to survive three gates. Your turn versus my toss, run it? No. I beat you so many times I got tired of it. You also make me play on an A, which I don't like. I always wonder if it's actually worth it to block the opponent's probe in, and then insufficient. block the opponent's probe, and then also put a pile on here. Because I feel like I have no money whenever I do that. Even if my probe gets away. So, in theory, I understand. Like, your probe is worth 50 and you'll make back the money for for mining, but at first you have just less minerals than your opponent. Mineral quantity insufficient. So I wonder how worth it that is. Not enough minerals. More minerals required. Negative. <laughs> Insufficient energy. Not enough minerals. Mineral quantity insufficient. More minerals required. Enemy assaulting probes. Construct additional pylons. So you did this again. I really don't mind this. Inadequate supply. Pylons in the This time I was watching, no? And I'm not canceling my unit this time either. So like his nexus already should be quite a bit later, no? Mineral quantity engaging the enemy. Dude, where is Sucker is coming from? Is that my shield battery too late? Oh, that's not a wall! I got scammed. I was like, nice, we caught New two suckers. Absolutely did not good. He just warped in. More minerals required. Mineral quantity insufficient. Additional pylons required. 
Not enough. Oh, whoops. I don't know why I thought he wouldn't do the same, the exact same build again. Even though I'm playing against Strange. Required. Was doing the same build in the VP every single game as well. Mineral quantity insufficient. So I moved out for absolutely no reason. Not enough energy. Under attack. I hate this matchup so much. Now we're dead. Cannot warp their research. Cannot must be placed in our field. Maybe Dark Shrine would have been a good idea. Probably put it here. The most, the most obvious spot to put it in. Not enough minerals. He for sure already has a third base. More Thank you for the required. raid. That's it too full. Can you guys not mine like this? Thank you. Not enough minerals. Mineral quantity insufficient. More minerals required. Not enough minerals. Why was there a... Mineral field depleted. Mineral quantity insufficient. More minerals required. Not enough minerals. How many do I need to one shot? All right. Mineral field exhausted. Mineral cluster expended. Let our enemy know our fury. Get an observer there. Required. This is so bad. I don't have energy for a recall because I macroed. Oh my god. Under attack. Cannot warp there. I'm getting punished for actually macroing. Where champ? So he has an observer here, so I need to shade, shade right away, basically. Energy. Mineral quantity insufficient. Not enough minerals. Additional Vespine gas required. Pylon under assault. Need more Vespine gas. Glorious Insufficient. Let us enemy know our fury.
enemy assaulting the probes. Required. Let our enemy know our fury. Thank you, Fruit Seller, for the eight months. Appreciate it. I'm gonna wait a little bit so he finds the game, because he's pretty similar MMI to me. And I really don't want another PvP. I'm surprised anybody is lettering, to be honest, because these maps are useless. Have you already sent Tilo some Fiesta bills for World Team League? No, I was hoping that this was. I mean, to be honest, I'm really unhappy with the. Like World Team League, the the Bian and Scarlet both are very sick, and Scarlet is gonna have to play. Tilo is gonna have to replace Bian, and this match basically decides on who gets second in the regular season. Um, yeah, I'm very unhappy with the what happened there because Team Envy and Team Team Liquid, for example, they're just gonna. Um, they will just postpone their match, but for some reason they didn't want that here, so. I hope uh, I hope Tilo can take him up, and I will probably tell him a bit. But I think this is not uh, what fair play looks like. Tilo is not still playing, he just has to replace Bian because Bian is not feeling good right now. So it would have been much better if... Like, Bian is pretty sick and Sasha is also pretty sick, so we tried to postpone it, but they didn't want that, so... Not much you can do. It makes a huge difference, that series. It's If we're second, you're already top 3. That's guaranteed 6k. If we lose this, we might drop down to 5th place. Which is a guaranteed 2.3, so it's more than twice the price money already, if we win this series. I'll try my best to win 2-0, and then hopefully Sasha, even though she she's sick, I, I hope she can play. I mean, I wouldn't even mind forfeiting the series, honestly. Because I, I find this very stupid, that uh, we were not allowed to postpone it. What's Teal Oza and Mario at the moment? I don't know, you have to ask him. Harrison is still on vacation. The reason I have headphones is because I lost my... I forgot my... Uh, that's strange when I gave me... Yeah, because, I, because I forgot my... Uh, fuck, what is it called? Extension cable. So I bought a new one, it's arriving later today. Uh, the only reason I don't, I'm not wearing these headphones even though they're good is because my hair otherwise looks like this. Like, it's pushed down. And I really dislike that, otherwise I would just be wearing headphones. Playing PvP against Astrea now. Fantastic. Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> All I want is some warm up games, but I keep getting Pro Gamers Protoss off race. Wait, wait, pro, pro Gamers Protoss every time. More minerals required. Mineral quantity insufficient. Not enough minerals. 
More minerals required. Not enough minerals. Mineral quantity insufficient. More minerals required. Mineral quantity insufficient. Not enough minerals. More minerals required. Not enough minerals. Mineral quantity insufficient. More minerals required. Not enough minerals. Mineral quantity insufficient. Below. Probes under attack. Oh, wow, we found it. More minerals required. Quantity insufficient. Not enough minerals. More minerals required. New technology researched. Mineral quantity insufficient. I don't know why I was standing up there. Oh no, I do remember now. It's because... It's because I was afraid of adapts, but I, I don't know why. It doesn't really make sense for me to stand there. Not enough. Yeah, that's exactly what I was hoping for this response. Everybody Enemy plays like this as a response to proxy. But obviously me losing the units, I could not uh, afford to split up. And I also didn't send the hallucination right away. More minerals required. Mineral quantity insufficient. Touch. Probes under uh, attack. Switching. Shoot.
Enemy assaulting probes. Pylon under assault. Cannot warp there. Oh, wow, you research really completed. I, think I should cancel that gateway, probably. Because he knows I'm attacking him. Enough minerals. Minerals required. Not enough minerals. Let our enemy, enemy know assaulting our minerals. Quantity insufficient. More minerals required. Maybe I should have kept Cannot that gateway fixed. Yeah? Mineral quantity insufficient. Not mineral enough. cluster Minerals. expended. More minerals required. Mineral quantity. New technology researched. Not enough minerals. More minerals required. Not enough minerals. Mineral quantity in excess point under enemy attack. Mineral field depleted is required. That's probably too many gateways, right? Not enough minerals. Mineral quantity insufficient. More minerals required. Mineral cluster expended. Must construct additional pylons. Mineral quantity insufficient. Inadequate supply. Pylons we embrace the glory of battle. Probes under attack. Let our enemy know our fury. Field depleted. Pylon under assault. Not enough minerals. We're super dead. We embrace the glory of battle. Must be placed. More minerals required. Not enough minerals. Mineral quantity insufficient. We embrace the glory of battle. Must be placed. More minerals required. Must be placed. Mineral quantity insufficient.
Let our enemy know our fury. Let our enemy know our fury. Mineral field exhausted. Enemy assaulting probes. Did you? How good was it? Paya? I think Paya is fine. Like, I think it's good, but it's not like blowing my mind good. I also, I just don't like seafood. Seafood is always uh, underwhelming for me. I have never had to, like, I try out everything once, and literally every seafood I had so far, I fucking hate. Yeah, I don't, I don't really like sushi either. But sushi is the only, like... What are you confused about? This is why I'm so mad, puppy. Yeah, this is what should have happened to our match as well. But they didn't want that to happen, so it didn't happen. I don't know. Very weird. You would love Mexican- bro, I don't even like Mexican candy. <laughs> Mexican candy might be the worst I've, uh, candy I've ever had. It probably was, yeah. Licorice I really don't like, but Mexican candy is probably the worst thing I've ever had. I really like normal Mexican food, yeah. Burrito, like... I've had a great burrito in Spain. I mean, it's pointless for me to let her, really. I'm gonna ask someone for customs. Not sure who yet. I was hoping to get some protos where I'm up with that. I'm gonna just gonna play random. Oh, Alex said sure. Yeah, so we're gonna play a little bit with Neep. Have you tried Japanese candies? No, I don't know what that is. I like the normal mixture. I mean, I just really don't like seafood. I don't like the consistency of it. I don't like the taste of any of the stuff I've tried so far. But I understand how people like it. Also, the effort it takes to take the to eat the seafood paella, like everybody is done with their food, but the seafood paella, the people are still only halfway done. I'm like, nah. Yeah, my favorite sweet dishes are probably, um, well, Gamknudel is my favorite, but that one is specifically Austrian. After that is Kaiserschmann, which is also from around here. And then I guess it's good croissants, chocolate cro a good chocolate croissant, even just a normal croissant without anything I like, if it's really good.
Well, but do you like Norman seafood, puppy? Because I, I, for example, I don't like the taste of fish. Already. Thank you, Ganela. For the four month reset. Yeah, I like the tacos, the burritos. I mean, I've, the best Mexican places I've had so far were in the US. The only good food that I've had so far in the US were Mexican places. <laughs> so usually when, I get, when, when I'm at American events, I try to go for Mexican places. Yeah, I like tacos, burritos, fajitas. Is there even any original American food? I don't know, but I went to one I went to one steakhouse where everybody said it was good, but it was really, really mediocre. I don't know if I just got unlucky there. I went to a Texas steakhouse where everybody went after the Dreamhack Austin. It was just like it was just not good. Like I don't know. It was, it was legit pretty bad. Barbecue is American. Well, we we grill meat everywhere, but um, we can let you guys have that. Sure. You not like burgers? I love burgers. The bur but but I never had the greatest burgers in America. The best burgers I've ever had were in Berlin, and it's not even close. It's actually not even close. The two best burgers I've had so far were in Berlin. Thank you, Lorumbo, for the eight months. Appreciate it. I'm lucky matchups in Valencia where I got hero and then I got pickpocketed, so yeah. Those two were unlucky. It's the first time I ever lose anything. Usually I never lose my phone or my my wallet. Both of those I never lose. And even after I lost it, I always like I have it in every time I stand up anywhere, I check my pockets to see if I have everything. So I would keep doing that, and every time new, I would realize that I don't have a phone for like an entire week. Soul crashing. Must spawn more overlords. So I think Nib is the best PVZ uh, outside of Korea, so it should be good practice. Not enough minerals. More minerals required. It's pretty funny. The best PVZ we have in Europe is an American and then an Italian soft race. And they're complaining about the matchup. It's unbelievable. Not enough minerals. Barbecue is not grilling. Maybe I mix up the words, but I, if I have a barbecue in my garden, we call it grillen in, in German. Is barbecue specifically the one with the smokers or whatever they're called? Because we more pretty sure we would count those as grilling as in Germany as well. Mineral quantity insufficient. I'm very bad with English food names in general. I'm, I don't know what half the things are called. I don't know why they made the circle here off center. But the one in the natural is on center. It's very weird. Minerals. 
mineral quantity insufficient. Insufficient overlords. The barbecue sauce, okay. Not enough energy. Insufficient. Not enough minerals. Queen birth successful. Evolution complete. Newly birthed queen ready. That was not great losing that second one. But before that it was fine. Sufficient Vespin gas. Newly birthed Queen ready. Swarm forces under attack. More minerals required. No, what the fuck? You guys Not aren't supposed to say. Enough minerals. Mineral quantity insufficient. Actually, I'm gonna take the other one because I forgot to spread the cre creep in that direction. Must spawn more overlords. Insufficient overlords. Not enough energy. Enemy queen asserting successful. Command unacceptable. Mm, maybe I don't need one of these. No. Command unacceptable. Drones under attack. I'm gonna try something a little bit off. More overlords required. It's going for gas or must spawn attack. Mutation complete. Hive cluster says under direct attack. assault. Command unacceptable. That's really good for us, because he wanted to do something very aggressive. So I don't really want to drone up much further. Swarm forces under attack. Creep tumor under attack. I actually think the trick against this is to just let him engage super fire and then go, but I did it wrong there, so I lost a lot of zerglings. Like here now he would be super overextended. Swarm forces under attack. Insufficient energy. Newly birthed swarm forces under attack. Mineral swarm forces under attack. More minerals required. Queen Birth, success.
successful. Swarm forces under attack. Mineral field defeated. Swarm has evolved. Sequences spun. Swarm mutated. Queen birth. Swarm forces higher cluster under direct. Okay, that one engagement last minute game. It's actually crazy how bad my accuracy is after the Dream Make events always. Because the Dream Make events they have the worst chairs ever and they are not adjustable. So I get used to a completely new setup and now I'm misclicking. Like fucking crazy. But I also do that if I don't play for a week, so it doesn't only come from that. Which makes it very surprising that I qualified yesterday. Because I've been misclicking like this yesterday as well. Like my accuracy is in a complete dumpster. Not enough minerals. More overlords required. Mineral quantity insufficient. More minerals required. Mineral quantity insufficient. Not enough minerals. But I also, uh, I actually changed my setup at home before the Dream I used my garden chair the last week. Before the tournament. So I, w I was a little bit used to that. But still it was a different height. But then on the first day I forgot. Well, on the day before the tournament. I forgot to bring pillows. So I got used to that. So... I played Lord and I know I'm... Maybe I should stay playing like that to get used to the other remake. But I gave it as feedback and they said maybe they'll get us good chairs next time. Which I highly doubt, but we'll see. Also in my series before I played against Hero, I gave them this as feedback as well. They, they need to do testing if I can hear stuff. Because when I, while I was in the lobby I could hear what the Need casters were saying. The white noise was, like, not loud enough whatsoever. I could hear every word. I could have, if I wanted to, just not told them and cheated. I really still could have won. But... I told them, and then that's that's why it took a little longer, the series, to start. Because the admin had to come and put the white noise on Max. That stuff is very wild to me because, like, I'm not sure every player would say that. I think most most players that I know were, would uh, would, but mineral quantity insufficient. Like, I'm not sure Koreans are not even too shy to say something there and then. Must be on cream. Like they hear something like twelve pool. I will turn the voices down. Thanks for the sub. Appreciate it. More minerals required. Didn't really pay attention. Looks like double no chrono. Insufficient overlords. Swarm forces must under attack on creep. Queen birth evolution complete. Hive I'm cluster under out. direct assault. Newly birthed queen ready. Not 
not enough. Queen birth successful. Swarm forces under attack. Newly birthed queen. I did not mean to make that third spark earlier. What to do? Insufficient. But we could uh, one of the oracles. That's so okay. Must spawn more overlords. Mineral quantity insufficient. More overlords required. Swarm forces under attack. More minerals required. Mineral quantity insufficient. Not enough minerals. More minerals required. Mineral quantity insufficient. Must be morphed on cream. Not enough energy. Insufficient energy. Not enough minerals. Swarm forces under attack. Sequences spun. Swarm mutated. Not enough energy. More minerals required. Newly birthed queen ready. Insufficient Vespine gas. Not enough minerals. Mineral quantity insuff insufficient energy. Swarm forces Cream under tumor. attack. Under attack. Not enough energy. Queen creep tumor under attack. Swarm forces under attack. Insufficient energy. And unacceptable. Swarm as evolved. Successful. Newly birthed queen ready. Not enough energy. More overlords. Insufficient energy. Mineral cluster expended. Command insufficient overlords. He's gonna do an icon attack. Must spawn more overlords. More overlords. Requitation complete. More mineral sequence required. Spawn swarm mineral field depleted. <laughs> Enemy assaulting drones. Mineral field exhausted. Swarm. Is
I'm just gonna play Ling Bane for a little while because I wanna see if it's safe. Not I don't actually think it's the best or anything, but if I could I have that uh, as a mix up and it's actually safe against Blink Collins, that would be huge. Insufficient overlords. In this case, I'll try uh, something else. Or maybe I'll just, uh, We'll see, we'll see. Quantity insufficient. Additional Vespin gas required. More minerals required. Mineral quantity insufficient. Not enough minerals. More minerals required. Need more Vespin gas. Additional Vespin gas required. Insufficient Vespin gas. Additional Vespin gas required. Must spawn more overlords. Oh, whoops. I didn't pay attention there. Was that a core first? Let's see. It was not, it looks like. It is pretty early, but... I forgot, I, I forgot to make a... Swarm forces under attack. I'm not gonna leave, but this was dumb because the only reason this happened is because I accidentally made a drone too many instead of my initial zerglings. Newly birthed queen ready. More overlords. He's doing glaives, so there's a chance that we still just win. Queen birth success is not enough energy. It's not glaive, so we're kind of fucked. Insufficient, newly birthed queen, ready. Not enough energy. I'll queen walk now because I must be morphed on creep. Don't really want to play this out after this early game. More Vespin gas. 
Insufficient Vespine gas. Need more Vespine gas. Queen birth. High cluster forces under direct attack. assault. Insufficient Vespine gas. Okay, now he knows, so now we're dead. We realized that very early, uh, had nothing at the natural. So he revealed the queens now. I need to move out, so. I'm super short. I know we cannot transfuse, but that's just life. I'm gonna make drones after the next round of links, because you can make a direct shrine. Need more Vespine gas. So right now I'm droning up already. Mineral quantity insufficient. More minerals required. Swarm forces under attack. Newly birthed queen ready. Swarm forces under attack. Swarm forces under attack. We transfuse this as well an easy one, but obviously that ain't happening. Not enough energy. Insufficient energy. You were ahead, probably, right? Sufficient energy. Not enough. Insufficient Vespine gas. Insufficient energy. Not enough energy. Insufficient energy. Mineral cluster expended. Not enough. drones Not under so attack. Energy. Insufficient energy. Queen swarm forces under attack. My building is too late. Preferably, I would like to attack right about 180 supply, but I'm not gonna have building speed. I do that. Has evolved. Swarm forces under insufficient attack. energy, mineral quantity insufficient. Not enough energy. swarm forces under attack. Insufficient energy. Not creep tumor under attack required. Not enough minerals. Queen Mutations complete. Swarm forces energy. under attack. Command unacceptable. I wonder how many disruptors he's gonna have. Energy. Mineral quantity insufficient. More minerals required. Quantity 
Quality Insight. Additional Vespine Gas Required. No, not possible. Evolution complete. Mineral field depleted. Mineral field exhausted. Swarm forces under attack. No, not possible. Supply limit reached. How much do I have stack? This actually is not easy to attack him to. Like the position itself. I wonder where I should have attacked. With everything here, maybe? Creep tumor mm. under attack. Because that was a disaster. Under attack. Creep tumor under attack. Swarm forces under attack. Mineral cluster sequences spun. Swarm mutated. Creep tumor under attack. Swarm forces under attack. Enemy assaulting drone swarm forces under attack. Swarm forces under attack. Swarm forces under attack. Insufficient energy. Swarm forces under attack. Not enough minerals. Hive cluster under direct assault. Command unacceptable. You had very little static defense here, so I'm going to go here again. Forces under attack. Queen Birth successful. I couldn't spend my money there in the end because I lost all my queens as well. That was a close game. I think my attack was just really bad, but I think we were probably ahead slightly. Maybe not because my upgrades were bad and my tech was bad. Nah. It looks pretty even. Maybe we were ahead actually. But yeah, I, I couldn't not enough not ahead enough to kill him. I think if I attacked I probably need to do some split up attack, but he kept his Oracles AFK for quite a while, so they were super high energy, so you don't really want to split up your units. When do we get the new maps? When Blizzard gives them to you. I think Quick general tips for noob diamond two zerg players. Um, I w work on one thing at a time and focus on that. That's just the way it is. I have a question, why does Big Gabe still complain himself he's so bad and sloppy all the time, but then he's performed so well in tournaments? Oh no, he doesn't. Uh, everybody plays like fucking shit in tournaments. No one plays better. I think you guys don't quite understand. You guys can't tell if we're playing bad or good. Like right now, I'm playing like dog shit because my accuracy is bad. But you guys don't see these mistakes, like the misclicks. You guys can't see them in tournaments, obviously, but not even on my stream you see them usually. Things like small supply blocks you guys also don't pay attention to. Um, even just if it takes me longer to saturate my base. So if I have a good day, I can instantly see, okay, I have 22 workers, so I'm instantly selecting six. I send them to the next base, and then I have too many too many workers somewhere, and then I need to 
put them into gas, I will perfectly select three workers. And if I'm on point, it will be super fast. If I'm playing like shit, it will just take longer. That that kind of stuff you guys just never see. So, um, stack of players on the highest level make an insane amount of mistakes. All all of us. Yeah, the game is super hard, so that's why every single st stack of player always complains about how bad they play, instead of just saying how good their opponent plays. Every single every single Twitch stream you can tune into will always have the same thing. It's not just Big Ape, it's the same on my stream, it's the same on Harrison's stream if he plays Protoss. Who's like the nicest guy ever. It's the same on everybody's stream. Every Everybody who says differently as a stack of player is not really honest, I think. Okay, I give you one free BCQD troll per day, but uh, two is too many. You gotta stop it at that point. So like, if I... Even if I win very often, I feel like I play pretty bad, especially because you know what you can do better instantly while it's going on. But it's so hard to execute everything perfectly. And I don't think any player plays close to his best always. Vayner says so, but I'm not sure even there. Vayner, I think, has a great mindset for tournament play. Um, most others just say they play like shit. But even Vayner, like, you, usually whenever we lose, it's like, man, how, uh, how could I lose against this shit? Pretty sure every pro gamer thinks like that. It's not because we're all arrogant, it's because of the, the way the... Probably most of us are, but it's also in uh, big props to how hard the game is, and how different your level varies from day to day because of how much small mistakes and uh, focus matter in this game. Hey Lama, why are you used to bad? I don't know. <laughs> Look, the new maps, it says here, season ends July 19th, so probably July 19th the new maps will come out. It's actually pretty easy to figure out if you guys have the game installed, which probably most of you do. <laughs> like recently there are more upsets than before. Hmm. Was that the last game we named? Yeah, I told him I, I need a small break. I wish I could just queue games one by one, but it's not really... It's not really that fun. Like, you get burnt out as well from StarCraft, especially because I practiced two weeks or three weeks straight without really any breaks for a Dream Mac. And then before that, I had one week. And before that, I practiced four weeks straight for Dream Mac Europe. And now instantly there's TSL qualifiers, and then instantly there's Home Story Cup. And then right after that there's TSL, and right after that there's Dream Make Europe again. Um, I wish they would not put everything in the summer. But I guess you guys always have StarCraft, so that's nice. I'm gonna raid Wellmoon now. I feel not 100% yet, and yeah, I'm just, I just can't, can't stream for that long yet. But thank you guys so much for watching, and bye-bye, see you guys next time. Adios.